Hi, in this video, I will create an extension uh, for our activity project. Let's look at our project. Uh, for extension uh, uh, samples, I will uh, use uh, activities, uh, standard activities uh, tables. Uh, so here is the uh, SEMAM activities. I will add uh, our uh, our activity ID to this table. Uh, the first example, create a new field in a standard table with extension. For, for that, I need, uh, I need to create an extension of this table. Of course, if, if your model is not contains uh, the case management package, first you need to update your, uh, your model from here. Uh, if you have, you can create an extension like this. Let's create an, an extension for uh, activities. Let's look at our... Yes, this is our uh, extension table. Uh, you can change the extension name, but it's, it's, it's good for me right now. So let's open this one. I want to I want to create a new field here. Let's create uh, let's create a string field here. And properties. Sorry, it's a little bit slow today. So let's change the name. Now my uh, extension is ready. Let's save this one. Okay. Uh, right now I can use this field uh, to anywhere uh, with this standard table, and it's it's simple like that. Uh, you can create new fields in uh, in tables uh, very easily with extension. Uh, I will uh, use this uh, field in form. So let's add this uh, to uh, forms. For this, let's go back to user interface and forms. Yes, this one. If you not, if you are not sure uh, which is the form, you can uh, look at uh, uh, this um, this application. Uh, and let's look at this one. Okay, this is my activities. For example, if you don't know this one, the form name is SMM activities. So let's go back. Yes, this is form. Yes, this one. So let's create an extension for this activities form again. And let's open this form. Okay, let's look at our uh, activities table, the SMM activities table. It should be here. 
sorry. Yes, my field is here. Now I can add this field to, for example, or view. Um, sorry. Probably or with is using a field group. Let's look at this one. Let's look at this one too. Top here, the general and maybe identification. I, I'm sorry. Okay, now let's save this one. This is my extension, form extension, and I uh, edit this uh, FD activity ID to uh, general top. And right now I need to synchronize my project and uh, run. Uh, so let's synchronize and run. Uh, our project. Uh, I can click with this one. Okay, now let's go to common and activities and all activities. And let's open uh, this one. And I think this is our activity ID. Let's look at Mm, of course, we didn't didn't create uh, a relation, so it's not uh, we are not uh, seeing lookup here. Let's go back and create the relation. And we'll go back to activity, and we need a relation here. Okay. Okay, now it's better. Let's start again. Okay, let's look at our form. Uh, common and all activities. I am on some uh, standard activities, and here is our activity ID, and our lookup is now working. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's look at what we have done. First, let's stop this one. Uh, I create an extension of SMM activities table, and I add. Uh, this uh, activity ID here. Uh, after that, I uh, extend uh, SMM activities form and I add uh, this field to design. Now, after that, you should uh, synchronize with uh, database. Uh, and after that, we see our field in uh, form. So it's it's different from previous ver version. It's a little bit complicated than uh, older version, but uh, this is the way <laughs> right now. So uh, we need to uh, understand and get used to this uh, style, this type. Uh, I will continue to create extension for uh, activities. Uh, for example, next video I will create 
uh, some methods uh, in SMM activities table. Also, uh, I will create uh, an extension uh, uh, to standard class, etc. So I will uh, I will continue to uh, create uh, extension videos. I hope it's helping. Happy ducks.